On the topic of race, I want to just touch on some of the um, social media comments we saw come out at the beginning of this year. A lot of racist comments making the news. How, how have these things on social media, do you think, um, have affected the, the black race in South Africa? Obviously, what was happening in the social media, most, peop most black people are upset by, by why, what was published on the, on the social media space. But I'm saying we don't, we don't need to be offended. Like I'm saying, there's nothing wrong with being black. If you are a black person, you know you've got the right to exist. You've, you've got the right to live in South Africa. It is your country of birth, and you've got the right to enjoy whatever public uh, facilities they are. Therefore, you, you cannot be offended because somebody called you a monkey or anything. What you need to do is focus on what you need to do as a, as, as, as a race. Focus on what you are capable of doing. And, you know, people like people like the, um, Penny and all those, those are the people that we don't need in South Africa because they, 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 they make the divide between the black and the white race even wider because now they express their hatred and all those things. It is not about expressing hatred. It's about learning to to engage in a mature way. There's nothing wrong raising issues, but how you raise issues is, a, is does matter. Daniel, what do you hope people take away from the book? For me, what I want people to take from this book is, after reading this book, they must make an introspection into their life. To, they, to say, am I one of the people who feel they're entitled? Or am I one of the people who are having this exhibitionist mentality? And then once they've made those introspections and make a change in their lifestyle or make a decision there and then and say, I want to improve in this area, I want to improve in this area and also engage my other fellow fellow South Africans to say, let's look, let's look at these things, let's confront these things. That will make me happy to say somebody read a book and after reading a book, he made an introspection, he made a few changes in his life and also shared those changes with his fellows. And that's, that's my contribution to, to building South Africa. Now, some of the issues in the book and some of the issues that you've mentioned aren't issues that, that are only happening in a certain race, and specifically the black race. I'm, I'm sure that, that people across all races have these, these same issues in one way or another. Um, do, do you think that anyone can pick up this book, or was it written particularly for black South Africans? Yes. So, like, like I wrote primarily for, for black people in South Africa, but any person that reads this book, yes, like you say, it is not to say that other races, in other races, you won't find an entitlement, you won't find people playing victims and all that. You will find, but it's just that the focus was on black people. So anyone can read the book, even if you are not white, even if you are not black, even if you are not a South African, you can read the book and take learnings from there and affect them in your life. Now, are these race issues or are they people issues? Yes, we can say it is people issues, but remember, like I said in the book, you will always find a trace of the effects of apartheid in the life of a black person. So even if they are, they are people issues, but particularly for black people in South Africa, these issues, most of them came about because of the issue of apartheid that we experienced in South Africa. Daniel, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for the opportunity, Jen.